Hey y'all, I'm Taraja, I'm 25, and I just moved into this apartment all alone two months ago. After having to leave the last place because of roommate issues, I honestly was faced with the decision of I'm either going home, even though I feel like I've outgrown my home space, like there's not really space for me to bring all my nonsense there, or move on my own. Hey guys, I'm so happy to be back. I can't even explain how happy I am to be back on here. I'm really excited to start this Living Alone series. I have such a good time in my space and I wanna help people navigate their life. And I have a lot to say, I have a lot to share. Let me not talk any longer. Let's get right to it. Let's, let's get dressed for work. Before moving out, I definitely say it's important to ask yourself, you know, like what's the longest amount of time you've spent alone with yourself before in the past? Because for some people, some people don't realize, but they've never really been alone like this until they move out. I really enjoy my home space and I enjoy being alone because I feel like I have an aggressive amount of hobbies and like things to keep me busy. But I also recognize that not everyone is like that. So I can see how living alone can be a lot for somebody. There's just so much time for self-reflection and like growth. And like, I feel like sometimes people are afraid of mirrors. Like they don't want to look deeper into themselves. Like maybe they're ashamed, maybe they're sad. I love having a long morning, getting up at the booty crack of dawn and just doing whatever I want before going to work. So at my last apartment, I like told her ahead of time that I was a morning person because that's important. She knew that I was a morning person, but then like there would be moments where like she would be like upset that I'm like in the kitchen doing my things in the morning time. Like, you know, I'm a morning person like and started like taking it as a personal thing that I had against her when it's like you know that I get up in the morning like I'm not trying to wake you up you know what I mean and then like because it's something that I really enjoyed like I started getting like anxious about it because I'm like oh I really want to go out there and do this 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 but it's like I don't feel like having an argument I don't feel like hearing someone nagging at me I feel like my routines really ground me and keep me centered I think it just helps me continue to take care of myself Speaking of routines and schedules, I just finished editing my video from my move in here and it was just such a journey. But now I feel like now that I'm settled and like it's past the holidays, I can finally make a filming and editing schedule because I freaking took like almost two months to edit that last one because the holidays were in the way. I felt like I was never home. There was not time for me to edit. And now that everything's calmed down, like I'm finally I'm finally getting a groove. Creating routines has been a really large part of like just my last year. Like just with every move, you know, with every move comes new territory and new obstacles. And I felt like because I kept moving and I just didn't feel settled and things just kept changing in my life, I couldn't get a good routine down that was like making me feel satisfied. But now I've done this little 5 a.m. routine situation and like I've been doing stuff before work, I've been doing stuff after work. It's been a really good time. It's been a really good time. I love spending time with myself. I feel like that's why I really thrive in living alone. Like I love living alone. I just do what I want. Like it's 6 a.m. I have the lights on in the living room. No one's gonna come out here and scream at me. So I mentioned earlier that like I started a new job. Well, no, actually, I didn't mention it, but my title should give it away. <laughs> so I started a new job about two months. No, wow, three, wow, am I over three months? Wow, almost four months ago. Is that true? Oh uh, yeah, I started this job about three to four months ago, and right now I'm a digital marketing specialist for a nonprofit. I feel like this job is a really big deal for me because previously, my all my digital marketing experience was from my freelancing and like from when I started my own business in 2020. So like applying to these jobs almost gave me imposter syndrome because I'm like, I haven't worked a real nine to five, like no one's gonna hire me without that experience. But I had real skills, like I know what I'm doing, you know what I mean? I really enjoy being on the marketing team. Like maybe I'm a nerd, I just, I like being able to like do everything. I literally love my boss. I love my boss, I love my team. I think that it's so important to love your team and your and what you do because I know so many people that have been in toxic work environments this year 
you would not believe the amount of people I know who were like, I hate my boss, like they're gaslighting me, like they're basically verbally abusing me. That's insane, that's insane. If you're going through that right now, I really am sorry. I think it's very draining on someone's mental. Okay, my face is done, let's throw on some earrings. My family and friends ask me a lot about being on the computer at home and stuff versus at work because now I'm in a hybrid workspace when before I was working fully remote for like two years. Talk about a switch up. I feel like it definitely has its ups and downs. I love being home, like I said, I like my space, I like being comfortable, but at the same time it's like, okay, I really do need socialization and like even if the people I work with aren't my age, it is still good to get human interaction and to just get dressed up and get out of the house and get some fresh air, whatever, you know. It's just healthy. Whether you think it or not, it can be a lot working from home 24 seven, especially since working for my content creator job also allows, also forcing me to be home. It's like a lot sometimes because it's like, oh, I really wanna get stuff done, but I wanna get out of the house. And like, even on the days where I work from home, I still make sure I get out of the house. My place gets a little chilly, so I'm gonna do this. I can't find the front, so I'm gonna do this little quarter zip sweater situation and maybe just throw on some leggings and some warm socks, I don't really know. But about the hybrid work thing, I feel like I honestly don't mind it. Until days I really don't want to meal prep, like bringing a lunchbox in stresses me out. Like, I hate packing lunch. And mind you, there's a cafeteria, but the cheap girl in me doesn't want to spend that money in the cafeteria. I'd rather just pack lunch. Okay, so I wanted to give you an apartment tour of my old place in Jersey City because I feel like I already left out. I don't really care. I'm going to show you the place. It was really nice. Okay, now listen. I love this apartment except for the fact that my bathroom had like, sh like drain gnats that like wouldn't stop like they would never stop if my bathroom was way too damp and he wouldn't come and fix it or like even check out the problem even though i told him several times and i told him that it didn't stop or whatever i would just fight gnats and like drain bleach down my drains aggressively my favorite part of the apartment was the island that shit is fat look at that thing it is literally ginormous this apartment was basically located right off of grove street so i lived like right over there and it was a two bed two bath it was for around 4200 and it also had like parking underneath, which was extra. My old roommate and I were really hyped when we found this because it was like during that time where everyone in New York was like, ah, I'm gonna raise the prices. And like everyone was like fleeing New York because it was like, what the heck, I can't afford this. The apartment was huge. I paid more because my bathroom was attached to my bedroom. So I was not really too upset about that. I did love my room and I have a lot of things, so I needed it to all fit. Besides that, I was really satisfied with the experience. I loved being literally seconds from the train. I loved being seconds from the nightlife. It was just a great location for everything I was looking for and wanted to do. Thanks for getting ready with me for work. I literally need to hop on the computer in 0.2 seconds because I also need to make a little breakfast. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share with a friend. Bye.